In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. Returning once again to the trials of trivia, we have D Rock, world heavyweight champion, our wrestling and uh, spiritual specialist on the podcast. And sports and, and politics. We <laughs> 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 do lots of stuff. I'm a Renaissance person. But his expertise, for some reason, is The Simpsons. Yes. Because one of them. He spent time with it. Oh, yeah. So Just a little. So My much time. whole life. So we will have Simpsons Trivia. Simpsons is also on the board. Also returning to the Trials of Trivia is the Cohortress, the Chicken Nugget, Danielle. Welcome, Danielle. Yes. A little louder. Yes. Perfect. Bye. She's always along for the ride. <laughs> Danielle is deciding that she can still outsmart all you fools in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm nervous though because I've gotten really obsessed with Star Wars Legend and I feel like a lot of knowledge in my brain has been removed and replaced. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. My shirtless pictures of Adam Driver. You so went I to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I did. I'm going to do so it. If I'm you answer any that. question, Kylo Ren, that's not a Star Wars question, you're wrong. Is but Star Wars is Star Wars. So is Star Wars and Christmas just free, 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 free spaces? Those are free spaces to fill in. But the Star Wars trivia is different than last time, because last time I just used random Star Wars trivia questions. I've decided some multi-port Star Wars questions that you have to get to achieve a place on the board. Okay? And 
and a brand spanking new competitor on the podcast. We have Satya. How you doing, Satya? I'm great. <laughs> Satya is joining Satya us. Is the nickname. I'm sure she'll find one by the end of the well, yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta organic. Organic. Yeah. 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 For now, we'll just call her organic Satya. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know how organic that was? <laughs> <laughs> Satya will be handling expertise in the realm of the Harry Potter films. No books. Uh, books, sorry. Harry Potter books, not films. <laughs> so we did watch the films. All <laughs> nine of them. <laughs> At least the fourth one. <laughs> and last but not least, the greatest podcast editor the podcast does. Frank, the blockbuster guy, is here. Ooh, oh, he's gonna he's gonna put in fanfare. He's gonna put in. Isn't Blockbuster making a comeback now? They're gonna do like a. Like a Only in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh yeah. Only in Alaska. Don't forget Korea and Mexico. We're not talking about Mexico. 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 He's researching. <laughs> he knows exactly where cool. all of the blockbusters <laughs> on the planet are. They're still on the man's stream in two with which. Frank, although he possesses a vast array of intellect when it comes to pop culture, has chosen. That Sonic the Hedgehog Whoa, yes. will be cool. his domain of expertise. So we're all screwed. So that's even more <laughs> esoteric. Who is your real wife? Then Peter, it's not. You a each have. <laughs> <He's also laughs> esoteric. What does that mean? The food. <laughs> well, I suppose the boss is not a food. <laughs> you each have three cards. Those are your three lifelines. You can use them at any time. One lifeline offers you the ability to steal. From your competitor. The other life. Wait, 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 wait. Steal what? <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Is this Just like steal the <laughs> 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 Perhaps I left that open ended. Chaotic reason. All I know is that you have to <laughs> turn in the steal card to me when you decide to make this. Part says I can go. Oh, oh, you can see it, Steve. You can see what you've done. You have to turn in the steal card to me and then do the action. That is the rule of the steal, steal card. Oh, okay. Okay. Secondly, you have an ask question. This will allow you to ask the expert for each answer in the each answer, each answer. I lost a swoop. Answer. I lost a swoop. If each answer, um, in the event of you needing an expert for a Star Wars question or a uh, holiday uh, question, a, a, a Christmas question, who would be the expert? If the expert will be you. Who's the Christmas? The, the expert for each category is yourself. The Star Wars expert. I'm going to, because I know answers, I have to remember the So I'll direct you. It's an archive on it. To what you need. Boy, who's okay. the Christmas champion? But that's just Google. I'm also <laughs> Christmas champion. Because you have Google. No, I'm not going to Google. I have the answer. No, they wrote questions. I wrote the question. I wrote the question. I wrote the question. I'm going to guide you. He did a lot of work on it. Wait, so, so Google it, then Google it myself. So Google is you're going to Google it. Ask the expert is just, you're the expert if you have the answer to the question. No, on those two categories only. But if someone has a Simpsons, if they're stumped on their Simpsons question, they will ask you, the Simpsons expert. Wait, so everybody answers all of these things? No. Oh, shit about Sonic? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But That's all, the whole thing. But all of the questions. If somebody gets the question, if one of the categories. All of the questions, talk, except for Star Wars and Christmas, are multiple choice. Okay. okay. So you have options. I'm not just going to throw you in the deep end without any low floaters. How do you buzz on? You're all right, baby right. there. <laughs> this is going exactly like the last one I went, where the directions took like <laughs> half of the podcast. <laughs> yep. So we're all just, we're all just interrupting Steven constantly. <laughs> so, Steve, how do we buzz in? How do you buzz in? Do we You're just... each going to have turns. Right. Okay. The only time you need to like really buzz in quickly is if there is a steal that you desire to use. That and will you just have take you credit. So like, I guess you just yell steal. Can we also okay. steal their question yeah. answer? Like if they actually give the right answer, can we okay. steal it? Now, after remember, after every question, I'm going to give you guys some random amount of points. Ooh. And then once you guys... <laughs> that's, not, that's not fair. After you you give won me five by. because of that rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can give me five and you can give them like a hundred. Is it really random or do you have it a really point scale system? <laughs> no, it's random. It's based on the skill level. This is why this it's is based on the skill level. <laughs> it's based on the skill level of the answerer and the difficulty of the question. Okay. 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 Okay.
game show law. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now to begin, since we have two ladies playing, you ladies will go first. Because we're sexist here yeah. on the Vodacast. No, we're not. On the trials of trivia, we are, <laughs> goddammit. Now, <clears throat> Saskia, since you're new, I'll let you choose. The way we just choose how things happen is tops, all right, or bottoms. Okay. Now, which one do you want to pick, tops or bottoms? Tops. We're flipping the bottle cap. I want so badly to land on its side right now. Traditions. That won't happen. Oh. Oh. It landed bottom up. I can't remember what Satya chose. Tops. <laughs> so she assigned you. So Danielle, my lovely cohortress, uh -huh. you are first. You can pick any topic on the board and get a question from said topic. Buffy to check rust levels. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's me. She brought up the bridge. All right. All right. Who created the Slayer? Since you're the expert, I don't have to give you multiple choice. You don't. Give who me became? A oh wait, sorry. I fucked this up already. <laughs> <laughs> who created the first? Because you're the expert. I'm giving right, you that it was uh, this cabal of ancient men who trapped a girl and like did a spell and put the powers of demons in her. What were the names? I really don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Each this of their names is Jesus Christ. They have names. Can I have the multiple choices, please? <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is How dare you? Okay. <laughs> All right. That's fine. That's fine. How dare you? You get less points. Since, you since you're daring me, all right, I'm going to give you not four multiple choice answers, but six to choose from. Oh my god. <laughs> not that you dare to make it nice. I'm just going to make it up to you. All right? Oh, fuck. Please. The Avengers. The Avengers. <laughs> the Justice League. <laughs> the Bringers. The Watchers. The Shadow Men. The Guardians. That is correct, that's what I was looking for! <laughs> the Watchers <laughs> became the Shadow Man! Yes. Yeah. That's what, why he was Buffy expert, and that's but why. But I still needed a refresher of those multiple. Hey, choices. but you still nailed it! Yeah. Okay, so now your name is on the Buffy board. She is in the lead now. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Her name is on Buffy. <laughs> Created by 
by J.K. Rowling. Let's see. According to Albus Dumbledore, quote, he also likes the company of the famous, the successful, and the powerful. He enjoys the feeling that he influences these people. He thought in Hogwarts as a blank in Harry's sixth year and has introduced Okay, who said that? A. Who who is who is Dumbledore talking about? Yeah, you sound like you're terrible. A. Hottius D. Maxwell. Okay. Hottius <laughs> D. Maxwell. The one person I can't. His name is in some of my comments, but I can't. B. I Severus Snape. No. C. You're gonna say it. Kingsley Shacklebolt. Or D. Horace P. F. Slughorn. D. Slughorn. D. Slughorn. <clears throat> yeah. That is correct. So way to go, Danny. Two on the board. Random point. Holy smokes. Five is the point of two. <laughs> get to add your name on the thing, and whoever gets all their names on the thing is closer to them. <laughs> Do you get points for getting your name on all of them? Is that how you that's how you unlock winning is well, by getting all of them. That's, 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 that's how you're eligible to win is by getting all the categories. So I have to know shit about rocking songs. You can answer multiple points choice questions. This is why we have lifelines. Yeah, we have lifelines. It reminds me so much of Tom Hanks for Parks and Recreation. I'm so happy. A beautiful it's like that episode, Know Your Boo. It's kind of I will give you seven points for that other question because okay. you were kind of like, like scared. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> he can sit scared. I feel like I'm more afraid of the Buffy question, <laughs> and I require more. Well, yeah, yeah. That was more epic. That was yeah. epic. Yeah. You know Harry Potter. I'm, you yeah. 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 I, you know what? I'm not Danny, you're myself. still running the board because no one's used any lifelines yet. And you have not messed up yet, so what is your next topic? That's hard. Alright, uh. Come on. Christmas! Christmas! Christmas. Yeah. Oh Christmas. my. Christmas. I am the Christmas person. So, unfortunately, <laughs> for the Christmas section, <laughs> it's done the by the game Goulet, <laughs> everyone's favorite Christmas character. <laughs> the game Goulet. I am now wearing a Triple H mask and um, have manifested myself into the King of Kings. Stephen Goulet, the mm -hmm. King of Christmas. The one who bears in the snow. Alright, so are you ready for the first sure. question? Oh, Alright. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. The reindeer used to laugh and call him names. Please be nice. <laughs> they never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. I didn't come to Reno to get heckled. <laughs> then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright. In the Netflix film, Bright. <laughs> Horn. Horn? Horn. Horn. 
That is correct. It's D. D, Daryl Ward. I that is correct. I just watched Merry it. Christmas. So, I didn't even know this Christmas. was a question, though. So. Super Christmas. You got lucky. I apparently. Seriously. <laughs> to me, Christmas is a question mark. I thought it was a question Take a regular hard level, regular level Star Wars question. Or you can go for a Star Wars question that asks you to name things. Okay? Uh, I guess I'll do a regular level because I feel like there might be someone an opportunity to steal. Regular level. <laughs> This is about the new film, episode eight. Okay. The Last Jedi, which has just come out in cinemas. Now, when Star Wars films come out, they're obviously highly anticipated, so sometimes these films go by fake production titles, mm -hmm. all right? In order to rename anonymity to their secrecy, what have you. The production name for episode eight was A. You said no multiple choice. That's for the hard one. That's for like the hard one. Oh. And this is not common knowledge. I know the answer. Yeah, no, no, this is not common knowledge. But I know the answer. But <laughs> you know the answer? Yes. What's the fucking answer? Black Panther. Top Panther. Black Panther. That's not the answer I got. No? No? Wakanda? <laughs> nope. It was Candy Bear. No. Nope. Okay, all right, then I'm wrong. Oops, oops, I lost. And she lost without even hearing the option. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was, though. No, but I, since she didn't even hear the option, I was, I got I'm cocky. keeping the question on the board. <laughs> Did. She got cocky because I fucking gave her the realm of Kylo Ren and she was like, I know he's a panda, space panda. No! <laughs> <laughs> Satya? Yes. You may now choose a category and play the game of the trials of trivia. <clears throat> um, I'll go for Buffy. Buffy trivia. Ooh. What age do slayers generally not live past. What age do slayers generally moment? not live past? I am. I'm letting it like soak. <laughs> That's what good hosts do on game shows. <laughs> when there's no time limits and no commercial breaks. <laughs> what age do slayers generally not live past? A. 10. B. 16. C. 20. D. <laughs> Midlife crisis. Ooh, it's not good for a slayer. C20. C20. Scrolling to see what the answer is. <laughs> the answer is 20! Buffy tells Dal that she wants her life to be as long lasting as a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Which is 20 years old. <laughs> and Sock is her name on the Buffy <clears throat> trivia. No, so Buffy lives past 20. It's just that most slayers. Die by 20 because yeah, it's such a hard one. What? Trevor Shaw Daryl was a really funny one. Oh, of course not. Well, it's like, it's like oh. television. Oh. Third? She started almost 20 and she's supposed to play like 16. Yeah. Both get at, they 
Natalia. Where do you want to move on the board next? Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. She's going for her sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So let me find something worthy of the lack of a murder point there. Her 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 so no one, no one, everyone's scared of Simpsons and Friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Rocky and Sonic. Roy, <laughs> <laughs> what's those? <laughs> when is Hermione Granger's birthday? A. August 6th. B. March 15th. C, September 19th, or D, July 31st? <laughs> when one of those is a trick question. Her money is right, 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 right. 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 The other two are March. <laughs> smart. Smart. <laughs> smart. <laughs> smart. I could repeat them because I didn't just make up all those. <laughs> August 6th, <laughs> March 15th. September 19th and July 31st. Uh, are you free on January 32nd? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for August 6th. August 6th is the incorrect answer. The correct answer was September 19th. She is later in the Christmas break, apparently. That's not Christmas Before, break. Before, or that winter, summer break. Sorry, it's, it's hard up on the game show. <laughs> we, don't get, we don't get time off. Okay. And we're all sorry, Satya. Yeah. You want to be clockwise? Frank. Yes. Frank. Our Sonic expert, you are now in control of the board. I feel the power. Where do you want to go? And what do you want to do? Let's go for Rocky. The Rockies. Rockies. Yes. He's coming for oh, George. He's, he's coming for me. He's, he's coming is. for he George. Wants trivia. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little Ewok. All the 
happiness that Frank just space, space stole, space stole space his way to victory. Black 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 no, no, Lando Calrissian. I said black panda because I was thinking um, bears can, but I, because I, the the icon for the, the movie was a real panda. That's that's nice to know. But what matters most is that <laughs> Frank <laughs> just got forty five points. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Frank, it's only weird if you don't embrace it. Frank, where so do you want to go on the board? There's a decent friend in the line here. Where do you want to go on the board, Frank? I'm serious. I'm serious. Where do you want to go on It's time to go home. Let's go Sonic. Sonic. No one's going to steal this. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Oh, I will. I can't. Uh, exactly. I'll steal it. We're going so into, into the castle. No, nope. so use the Use your steal card. Yeah. 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 That's your gift. Steal my gift. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, 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 you should get like let Frank answer his question about something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have to say the question first. What was what? the first handheld Sonic game ever to be released? Handheld Sonic game ever to be released. A. Sonic Spinball. B. Sonic Pocket Adventure. C. Sonic the Hedgehog. Or D. Sonic. You're guessing that Sonic the Hedgehog was the first game to be released handheld. Why? About Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! You know you're doing that because you got it right. What system was it released for? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jay is stealing himself to the back. 
bathroom to get in there with the other one. I don't ever remember in the cookie bar ever said a curry. I really don't. Okay, and it's not goat, you're pretty sure. It's not saffron. Nope. Because you don't know what saffron is. Goat. So he goat. said it might be goat. He said it might be goat. It, it might be goat. your feet. Okay. But you chose chutney, and guess what? What? Chutney was the correct answer. Yes. Otto returns to his apartment to find his lock's chain and an eviction notice on the door. And he has no choice but to live on the streets. And when he finds himself in the dumpster next to the quickie mark, he stops in for a squishy. And mm -hmm. Otto Kuhn recommends the chutney flavor, yes. which much to his disgust, he doesn't like chutney. <laughs> Good job. And I like how it's just chutney flavor. Like, there's no flavor of the chutney. No. It's just it's chutney. chutney. No, it's not apricot or anything cool. No. Mango. Mango chutney. Mango chutney is the best. Frank, you're in control of the board. Where do you want to go? Ooh. And you get four points for that. Yeah, yeah you Christmas really? Christmas is back in away. Christmas is almost gone. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. No one knows that. 
After an assembly in the auditorium, the kids of Springfield Elementary become infatuated with which of these? A, pirate, B, jack, C, yo-yos, or D, ear piercing? That's your final answer? Okay. After school, Mrs. Carvalho drives home in the rain, shopping, stopping off at the cookie mart, and discovering her ex-husband puts sugar in her gas tank. When she reaches her apartment and flips through a magazine, she decides wow, that it might wow. be fun to put out a personal ad just to see if any men are interested. What the hell? At school the next day, the kids are told to the auditorium for an assembly. I'm trying, I'm giving you information in these things so that when you have a chance for this Simpsons question about this episode you barely remember, you will have some framework to understand it. You can't steal a question. No, I want to steal my time. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time. You have no time. I am the time. I am the law. You have your own. Okay. Like I was saying, yes. she puts out a personal ad to see if any men are interested. Okay. At school the next day, the kids are called to the auditorium for an assembly held by the Twirl King Champions, a group of professional yo-yo users. It takes one day before everyone in school has a yo-yo. How many rounds are we doing? Wow. What do you mean? We're playing until we're done. We're playing until yeah. we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Until so someone gets their name on every, every category. Then we go into the next oh, round. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, okay. the game then needs to no, be over sense. when that happens. That makes Not sense. There's part two. Right? That's why you're stealing. <laughs> 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 That's why you're stealing. 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 Okay, so it's still it's still me. Yeah, okay. Derek, Derek, Derek uh, will get. Oh, so tell me, I'm actually anymore. We'll get thirty-nine yeah, so points. Thirty-nine points. You're steal what? You stole from the no, right after you were down. So why do we do nothing? You're still well, you're gonna have to wait till we close your eyes. Prematurely, you're still stealing. Okay, that's because you're 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 stealing. Okay, <laughs> Star Wars. Oh. Oh. Star Wars. Star Wars. Okay. Do you want the big list? High degree of difficulty. High degree of difficulty. Alright, I love it. God, it's scary. Happy. I'm gonna slip up this mic. Alright. High degree of difficulty. Name ten planets in the <laughs> Star Wars universe. Whoa. K-O-R-I-B-A-N-D. No, 
okay, I found it. Alright, it's it's Cora Bay. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Just read more. Um uh, Naboo. Correct. Um That's where Jar Jar's from, guys. <laughs> Dantooine's off the table. Two answers. Come on. Okay. Um. All right. You have. Two more. Let her do it. Let her do it. Do it. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to. If you steal and get it wrong, you should be punished. Two more. There should be a two more. Uh oh. Why don't you just steal it? No, I'm too busy. You can't steal it. Oh yeah. You can't steal it. Damn it. Rogue One. Where were they? Force Awakens. Character. Yes. Yes. Okay. He is a very wonderful character. Dark Darth Vader. What, what, what 
who experienced many situations such as near-death experience with different creatures, and even had a romantic relationship with one of the characters in the series. He had one half-sibling, and he has the blood of a certain magical creature. He is very close to Harry, Hermione, and Ron from the start of the series. Which character is being described? A. Dobby. B. Tom Marvolo Riddle. C. Remus Lupin. Or D. Lucius Hagrid. What was the... Ooh. Can you repeat the, the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> the He's question. experienced many situations such as near-death experiences with different creatures. He even had a romantic relationship I'm with one it. of the characters Ooh. in the... Yeah. Oh, oh, it he rocked. Yeah. I used his steel. I mean, steel. No, he, he never stole from her. Oh, you stole from her. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 
including at least one general. Wow. Mm. I think I could do that. Wait, uh, this original this rebel alliance or resistance? Is this the same thing? No, 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 no. It's the same plural. Well, so they're they're becoming the rebellion again now. Rebel. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. So original rebels, empire rebels. Well, a lot of the original rebels have the ones that are named went on to the resistance. You guys are asking so many questions yes. and getting not answered. Because most of them, a lot of them, they do never say their full name. Actually, they can I just do four and then it's okay? Like cool. nine, so yes, you can just give four. Okay. With one general. One general. On top of the, what's your general? Start off with your general. Give me your general on your Star Wars Rebel team. Uh, General Rad. Correct from Rogue One, General okay. Rad. Um, He's a other rebel, which makes his life easy. Leia, <laughs> Leia, Leia or Nana. Ding, 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 that is correct. You should have just said, like, non-main character. Yeah. yeah well, hard. too bad D-Rock can write right. these questions uh, to Han, make them harder. Han Solo. Han Solo, correct. Yeah. Just so kicking up a notch. I guess. Wedge in. Got that wedge. Wedge in there. Like Leia, Han Solo. General Raddus and Wedge in. No love for eggs, though, I see. What about Morgan? Okay. Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> that would be the first one Morgan. I would say. Morgan. Morgan. Everybody to get Morgan. this question <laughs> correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Can I do it? You need to. I guess. But I need four. You need to tell me what the answer is. Well, I don't know. What? what is it? How, how is the second part of the question? Yeah. Shit. Guys, what's the second part? 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 the name of General Red. What is the name of the maneuver he performed in Rogue One? The hammerhead. Ding, 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 ding. Boom! Oh, Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. It's funny. Well, it was one side. It's like, that's my favorite one. Yeah. That's one of my favorite maneuvers. <laughs> well, Fortress has oh, taken oh, the lead with five spots oh, man. on the board. Currently, two Sonic. spots left to be taken. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog is now in play once again. I have a rule that I think we should implement. You don't have your pass. Sure, let's consider it. Okay, I think for a, a, a category that only has one person on the board, and that one person so far is the expert in that category, I think those should be allowed to steal from somebody. I think I think people should get a steal. Wait, what? what do you mean? Like, oh, a steal for, for one. Because for one that don't have person. names, like, don't have names of the non expert on it. Because right now, Rocky is just David the expert, and he has the same one. Frank has the same one as Sonic. Wait, so, I, I could, wouldn't it be interesting if you had <laughs> available for steal? I think available for steal? I don't understand. Because right now, no one can steal. How much is everyone use all no, the dirt? People already stole too much from me. Everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone used all their steals. No more steals. Everyone has asked, and everyone still has Google searches. I haven't used You can perform a Google search. Okay, fine. On these questions. I don't understand why that makes a difference. So Sonic, all right. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. I'm terrified. Sonic. Let me give you. Wait, so is Google like. No, Google's the first one. Google's a Google search. You can do never a guaranteed answer sometimes, right? You should have a rule where if I can make up a question that stumps you, I get the point. Luckily, that's not how the game works. Of course not. Name the Pythagorean theorem. No, about the category. Oh, okay. In what year did Sonic the Hedgehog have his own game? A, 1994. B, 1989. C, 19 and 91, D, 19 and 92. Oh, man. That's a tricky one. Sorry. What was the year that Sonic had no game? I feel like, I think you know what we're doing. That's the easy one. Yeah, I was going to say. You should Google that. It's an easy guess. <laughs> I'm going to use my Google. You are going to use your Google. Like use it, use it. Yes, but. Yeah. Be careful how you type it. There's Google. Google. There are multiple uh, what year ports of Sonic 1. Did Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. have a little yeah. game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What, what year did Sonic the Hedgehog come out with his own game? Wait. Is this one American? Sonic the Hedgehog come out with his own game? 1991. 
That is correct. The answer is 1991. I was going to say, I was going to guess that, but then he said 92. I was like, oh. You have Rocky. one. You have one left for Rocky. total control. Yeah. Dana's so <laughs> gonna win the game because she answered like the first ten questions. <laughs> there were not ten questions. Okay, Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. She is going to catch the snitch in this game. Pretty soon. Which unlocks the ability to win. Rocky for. Day. Yes. Gonna pick the hardest question. That's okay. That's okay. Well, it's yours. Yeah. Who yeah. was originally supposed to play the part of Rocky? A. Oh. Ryan O'Neal. Mm -hmm. B. Dustin Hoffman. C. Robert De Niro. Or D. Harry Kane. Mr. J, do you can have any those answers? Can I guess? You can tell us what you what I think the answer is. But to impress me. Can't feel the answer. To impress me. <laughs> no, so she's wrong. Right on you. I'm wrong. That, that is correct. The correct answer was right. Give me, give me five. five. Right here. That's why five. he's our Rocky Airport expert. Kim, I sold the rights to the film only if he was cast as Rocky, even though producers offered him a great deal of money to let Ryan O'Neill play the part. This film went on to win several awards. So it was a good call. Oh, yeah. All right. No one beat it except for. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. I just knew that. So, so Sophia, you have control of the board yes. and are in last place. Very Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry of Potter. I'd just like to point out that the question you gave me was harder than any other Harry Potter well, question. Well, you said <laughs> you're the expert. You said you were the expert. <laughs> Experts use expertise. This one has a heavy, heavy. Yeah, like hey, like I like knew fucking Wardrobe Wilson. So. <laughs> And George knew Ryan O'Neill. Yeah, but I missed <laughs> that. There is a whole 64 fight song. Okay, yeah, for yeah, Edge of Steam. I knew what the slushy flavor was. Come on. Okay, I'm in Harry Potter <laughs> and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Azkaban. What form yeah. did the bogger turn into when Parvati Patil faced it? A, an eyeball. B, a rattlesnake. D, C, a giant <laughs> spider, <laughs> or D, a mummy. This is hard as fuck. For, yeah. for our body to show? Yes. This is hard as fuck. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it's hard as fuck. That's why you have yeah. Yeah, lifelines. Yeah. 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 I know. You know? I feel like spider if I had to say. That's not, it's not, it's not a frog. I don't really remember the spider. Um, don't either. listen to him, even though he's guiding you, even though he's your competitor, because he has a stake. Because he's your heir. She's gonna take yeah. you to the movies. <laughs> no, we can't say the answer. Come on, man. And then Harry and Sarah Potter. You were just helping me. So you think I that like it's her. either A or D. Yeah, so it's either, either an eyeball or a mummy. I will let you know that you were on the correct path. I'm all you have eliminated rattlesnake and giant spider. <laughs> Successfully. A mummy. It ain't Tom Cruise, but it sure as hell was a mummy. Yeah. So well, one of them had an eyeball. One of them did have an eyeball. One of them had a giant eyeball. Yeah. So I think we're that, that would be the one that I would have thought the least. Yeah. Where do you want to go next? No, the mummy. Um, Come down. I am the ghoulie. <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm about to do a milk spit. We have to do the Christmas. Uh, which one should it be? Christmas. 
trivia for Satya. All right, so let's see. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love sent to me 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords of leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids of milking, 7 sons of swimming, 6 geese of laying, 5 golden rings, <laughs> Six the Lord of the Rings question. 4 <laughs> Which day of Christmas, Satya? This is actually about Christmas! <laughs> would you send to Hitler if you had to? That's what a fucking trivia is my opinion! Yes, okay. Hey! What the fuck? Game the winner of the game however he wants because he is the game! What? You I'm will respect him. It's a points-based answer that you can get correctly or wrong. Oh, that's true. It's you send so Hitler, you, can get this wrong. you know, a handkerchief and it. a hug, you messed up the game. <laughs> so which day of Christmas would you give to Hitler if you had to? Sing the song. Can you repeat that? <laughs> Do you need to hear that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sing again, please. Start from 12. On the 12th day of Christmas. <laughs> My true love said to me, 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a milking, 7 swans a swimming, 6 geese a lay, 5 golden rings, 4 calling birds, 3 turtle doves, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear filled tree. Okay, so obviously it is the seven swans of swimming. Yeah. Like the swans are fucking evil. Yes. And they will cut a bitch. And you know how many times I was bitten by a swan as a child? Three separate occasions. <laughs> so <laughs> so you know, I'm like, I said it so first. You put Hitler in a tub. Send him the bird. Swans. Yeah. Yeah. So the swans will fucking attack. Send him the bird. bird. I'm going to send them in like a compact bucket. Yeah, for that episode of The Office. So they're really pissed when they get some. I remember that episode of The Office where our... What's Andy tried to give Aaron all 12 days of Christmas? <laughs> and he kept sending her birds and they kept attacking her. And she's like, whoever's doing that, please stop! <laughs> That's 49 points, and Saki is on the board for three. That was the most amazing one. If you scratch that. Saki, where do you want to go for now? Thank you, Zule. No problem. Also, I uh, just like to point out I have gotten no points in the Harry Potter question that I answered. Tell you how many points you got. Well, then I guess you get like five more points. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at 54 points total right oh, now. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Thanks, to Julie. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. You're back on that blue hedgehog yet again that Frank threw into everyone's monkey wrench. <laughs> <laughs> In which I'm picking a harder thing next time. I'm gonna pick West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was the format of the game. I, I, I gave you guys the option to retrieve your expertise or to pick I didn't know whatever how you wanted. Works, so I wouldn't okay. have known that. I hope the game is the same next time. So Sonic has a again. best friend. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is his real name? Oh God! Seriously? A <laughs> Tails. B, Miles, C, Prowler, or D, Tails. This is Sonic's best friend. Real name. Miles, Real name. Prowler, <coughs> Tails, Heads. I'll give you one guess. Heads is actually his real name. <laughs> wow. This is always better. What can it be? Always better. Goulet Revenger, sorry. <laughs> Do you have any idea what Sonic's best friend's name is at all? No. <laughs> no, let alone his real name. Oh, man. Um, what an ass. No, don't I do it. Do. You can ask for Google. Google. Ask for Google. Uh, Google. Yeah, waste some of Google. I feel like you know more about, about Sonic. Some kind of waste of a Google. Yeah. It's a waste of a Google. Just ask. Yeah, that's yeah. how hard this question is. Oh, Frank, ask. Frank, ask. Okay. 
That is not even Best Friend's real name. It's a play on pun for miles per hour. So it's miles. And Tails was a name. Tails is the name in the show because right. he has two tails because we call people by what they look like in life. <laughs> in the TV show. Wait, so you like that? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, they changed his They name. call him the Tails. Show because he had a tail. Because he had two, two tails. tails. He had two tails. He had two tails. It's it just like, like how in When Harry Potter was into tails. a movie, Ravenclaws became Ravens yeah. because apparently people are idiots. Dante, are you have the board? Let me go for Rocky. Because he's done it in other movies. 
She doesn't know. She's never seen any of the movies. <laughs> so, 5, 8, 9, or 20. Wow, this is a very interesting way that Google could fail you. Yeah. What? Right? It's a, like, how it's many eggs? Many, uh, how many eggs do you think a human could survive eating? Sonia, I need an answer here. <laughs> you gridlock the game. Give her another 30 seconds. You take forever all of the time. <laughs> oh, this, the clock is ticking. I have all the time. There is no clock. There should be a clock. It's what are the numbers? 5, 8, 9, and 20. 5, 8, 9, and 20. Let me see. One of these. I will give you till D Rock comes back. As an arbitrary yeah, amount of time. Fucking you do. No, <laughs> the answer. Is there a lot of time to eat there? No. Make it trick. Oh, shut up, Ad. Sponsors. When D-Rock returns, her time will be up, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Suspense. I'm excruciating pressure. Pressure. I want to see that. I'm killing dead air right now. This is the Rocky.
Dawn is Buffy's sister. She... What does that have? Okay. <laughs> Joyce is Buffy's caring mother. What? Joyce is a really cool mom. Okay. <laughs> and takes the news that <laughs> Buffy is a slayer very well <laughs> in the episode <laughs> Becoming. The first time we ever see Joyce really kick some butt is when? A. We never see Joyce portrayed as tough. B. She punches Principal Snyder. C. She hits Spike over the head with an axe. Or D. She yells at Angel for hurting Buffy. No, the principal's name I know is called Bowling. 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 And this is the first time? Okay. This is the first time she has shown that she has, can kick butt. Alright, I'm going to use my ask card. I'm going to call my lifeline. Are you going to ask out? the expert? Okay. Do I need to repeat that? Nope, I got it. See, she sits Spike over the head with an axe. Really? Insane. She hits Spike over the head with an axe? I need to scroll down to verify this is correct. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm not an expert in Buffy. Not like some people. We have the questions and answers separate? Yeah. yeah. That way there's no cheating in all of You never know. How are we we're not looking at his pages? Well, we may be looking at his how much do you have to scroll <laughs> to the ends of the earth? That's a lot of questions. He's Googling now. Okay. okay. He's right. Spike got hit on the head of the axe. Season 2, episode Cool Heart. Huzzah! Spike gets bored. So, I'm turning your ass card. So, exciting. No! So exciting. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much a lot of this character development. Almost all of this story. Put me on the list, Captain. Okay. <clears throat> Frank is also Buffy. Frank. Frank, where do you want to go now? I want to go Potter time. Excuse me? Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Harry Potter. Time to come up. away from the news. Harry Potter. Just when did Harry Potter become a vampire slayer? When did he become a vampire slayer? Well, it all started in one day of fiction. Well, there was that one. Yeah. <laughs> He is better known as the conductor of the night bus. He was introduced during the Prisoner of Azkaban and makes an appearance in Half-Blood Prince when the Ministry of Magic suspected him to be a Death Eater. Who is he? <clears throat> a. Ernie Frank. B. Stan Shunpike. D. Antonin Dolohoff. Or C. Augustus Rookwood. He is better known as the conductor of the night bus. He was introduced during the Prisoner of Azkaban, and in Half Blood Prince, the Ministry of Magic suspected him of being a Death Eater. Who is he? He was in that London night bus. Ernie right? Frank, Stan Shunpike, Augustus Rookwood, or Antonin Dolohoff. Oh, he said, right? 
No. What's no, it's right, right then. What's, you stole. Okay. What's the it's friggin' already. answer? You think it was already Frank? Yeah. The correct answer is Stan Shumpike. I wanted to steal No, Stan Shumpike's the guy who kicked the ticket. It is Stan oh, Shumpike. Stan Shumpike is the conductor of the night bus. Oh, well. And the night bus is driven by Ernie Frank. So yeah, it's my turn now. We need Jeopardy steals. We're close to the end of the game. D Rock's turn. Boom. He's one loss away from his George ticket. Where do you want to go? Do you rush? So I need Sonic, I need Christmas, I need Rocky. Why can't Rocky shout out the Christmas tree this level? Christmas tree? Nah. Doesn't one of them take place during Christmas? I don't know. Yeah, you know, Rocky 5? Rocky 4. Rocky 4. Rocky 4. You don't want Christmas? Well, the yeah, Rocky 5 is still awesome. I'm going to go with, I need Akuma Google. So I'm going to I'm gonna try a Christmas. Oh, snap. Christmas? Oh. Because. Game Goulet, we need you again. On my way to the back. I gave you on the horse. And there goes Mr. Juice. Alright. Welcome back. And. Stereo content. You and me. Time for our more trivia. Here we go. You win, you always do. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic and I have my Google. It is so good. No. 
putting in the hardest questions ever. Can I just can I just preemptively <laughs> after I'm just gonna be my rock bitch? I told you I was never gonna get another question. D Rock complained that he was like an hour ago. What do I get? He was up to like an hour ago, yeah. Right there, yeah. Find that smarty shit. I'll give you a fucking steal. How do you like that? I want to steal. What? George just Wait, gets I, a steal? He's in last place. Say in last place. It's like, it's like Mario Kart. He's in last place. Satya overcame him. I never get a question. Well, I mean, Frank and more last place? I no, I, I only have two. Is Frank in the fourth? No, Frank has more than no. me. But Frank has like four. But his, but his like, last question is my last question. Like, Daniel recommended someone who's in the last yeah. place should have a steal advantage. So Mr. J gets a steal back. Oh wait, what about last three categories? And now D Rock still has the board. What? Sonic. And he's going with Sonic. I D deserve a steal too. It's my dad. Um, What's your card? Card. You would have to use your card before Derek uses his card. Yeah. If you are going to steal from him. And threaten his chances of winning. This better be the big easy question. <laughs> We basically utilize the power of Mario for you. The last place gets a bonus item. How many total emeralds? Emeralds. How many total emeralds are there in Sonic 3 and Knuckles? That's the name of the game. Sonic 3 Google. and Knuckles. <laughs> what the hell? How close am I can even get this with Google? Google. How many emeralds are there in Sonic 3? Total emeralds. Say how many. What do you think? Four. Could be over. It might, I, George, I might. How are you going to get this wrong? You have Google. Because that's a really complicated question. <laughs> How many emeralds? This is really awkward. Everybody just be quiet. Can I steal them or not? No, I, I said that you had to use your steal card before he oh, used his card. I'm so mad at that. So there wouldn't be any conflagration of two cards being hit and beating each other. The whole game depends on how well Derek can Google the information out. But remember that even though he puts all of these on these papers, he still has to achieve victory. How? Huh? <laughs> After he, if he gets all his on these papers, I will tell him how many more points he needs to win. <clears throat> and then, and then what? And then he can answer questions to try to achieve that point value. So, this is like, you the final round. round. So I understand. This is very easy. D Rock, I will give you one more minute. Why is there drama? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's a complex question, but it's so easy at the same time. All paper. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I throw my chair, that's how mad I am. It looks idea. like there are eight emeralds in Sonic 3. Frank, what do you. They are technically 14 if you have the regular emeralds. Super, but if you count the master emeralds, there are 15. Yeah, I guess that's fine. That's about the perfect. That's why the Sonic has the expertise. He knows it so well. But and wrong, D Rock. Sorry, it's Mr. J's turn. Does he know where you failed your search? You're supposed to put Sonic where 3. Where are you going? Mr. J. Or Sonic 3. Stop <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on from the past. Long time technology, bro. Frank has shown his massive.
the golden sword? The correct answer was the science. Thank you. Oh, oh, sweet George. Oh. You can plan it up and things start to happen for you. <laughs> 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 it's never happened with us, but the squeaky wheel always gets the grease. <laughs> Mr. J, you're in control. Where do you want to go? And let me give you some points. And you get a key point. Mr. J? Come on. What the hell? I'm going to deduct points if you're slower now, because we've been here a while. All right. Uh, come on. Harry Potter. Of course you want Harry. Oh, you, yeah. You're not on Harry Potter? You're not on Harry Potter? Okay, you're on Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, the boy yeah. who sunk it. the Ravenclaw house, the only woman of the four ghosts of the different houses of Hogwarts. My mother is one of the founders of the prestigious wow. Institute of Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. Just love this one as always. I once stole an important artifact from my mother because of the jealousy I felt for her. Who am I? The Bloody Baroness, the Fat Friar, the Grey Lady, or... Nearly headless Nikki. Nikki. The Grey Lady? The Grey Lady is correct. I was doing a little word playing when I was Thank God. with their name. Oh. I got Harry Potter. Hey, getting all my Harry Potter. No more putting the LOL at the end of my statement. Mr. J. I said what Where do you want to go? <laughs> the game is yours. Answer is a doghouse for the dog who would freeze in the cold yeah. outside. Oh, the Simpsons residence has had a fireplace since its inception. I don't know. Wrong, Mr. J. Not a Simpsons expert. Dan, you have a Google. You had a Google, George. <laughs> you have the ultimate power. I'm not touching. Yeah. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Too late. Rocky is the only one I don't have. This is Rocky for the completion of the board? Yeah. Excellent. Rocky trivia. What does Rocky call the kids Marie was hanging out with on the corner? A, Ding Dong, B, Thugs, C, Coconuts, Can I steal it? or D, Hoods. Do you have a steal? Can I steal it? Do you still have your steal? Yeah. Do you still have your steal? Yeah. Then you could steal it. You could steal it. But you're already on Rocky, aren't you? Yeah, we so you're just board. stealing to control the board. Yeah. 
That's also a thing he did. One more thing. <laughs> the spirit of Christmas. Fuck, I was on Stephen King. It's the spirit of Christmas. You're doing great, George. And frustration and anger. Sounds like Christmas to me. That sounds beautiful. Hold on, give some time. One more. Give him some Christmas time. Wait, sing one song that feeds him. He does things with, with lots of spooky stuff in them, remember? Spooky stuff. That's not really He's a spooky guy. That's all the movies in a nutshell. That's George trying to think. Yeah, he's thinking of a Christmas carol that at least is mine. Shut up, Frank. Shut up, Frank. Shut up. George is like in in the ultimate mode right now. Did he already name the movie about this? This is not super hard. Not hard. But I don't want Stephen King. Like two Stephen King movies came out this year. Yeah, you just need them both. Yeah, you need them both. Stephen King, read a Hayward story. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Or 
D. Honky Baldo. What are you doing? No. I'm gonna say Lobot. The correct answer is Lobot. What? The episode commences with Bart's class watching a film about what element? A. Neon. B. Iron. Iron. <laughs> what? Iron? Iron. 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 Zinc or boron? Which of these was Bart watching a film about? No! No! no. Stand down! No, no, no. She doesn't know this at all! I'm gonna say Moron. Because we can make Moron jokes about Yeah, that was my guess. The correct answer is. Zinc. Zinc! And we get any points there. It's French side. And Florian has a It's not communist. It's Zinc. Frank? Blockbuster guy, where do you want to go? I want to go back to Harry Potter land. Harry Potter, you're not on Harry Potter yet? All the wonderful things made out of music. You're not on there yet. Okay, good. So what color are you testing? A Sonic. Everyone. I know! Jesus! No one knows anything about Sonic, Frank. That's the one I chose. I think everyone else is kind of more than a little bit. Harry Potter question for Frank. Which family member did Luna Lovegood lose, and how old was she when it happened? Oh, god damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Give me options. Which family member did Luna Lovegood lose? You have Google. Google. I'm about to. I'm thinking about it. You and have my multiple how choices. old okay, was Google Luna Dove Lovegood when it happened? What are my multiple choice options? That's a lot of comments. A, yeah. her mother at nine years old. B, her sister at four years old. Why did I go from A to Okay, what? whatever. <laughs> okay, mother nine. You've been skipping C. I know, no. sister four, father eleven, or her cousin at the age of seven. I feel like I know this one. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna have to use my Google. Yeah. 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 He's using his Google search. No, I don't have to use Which family member has Luna Lovegood lost, and how old was she I when she yeah. lost that family member? Can you sing a song while we're waiting? <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Get too late. I'm close to time. Hey, that's true. I'm too late. Wait, I was having a Tuesday, an original song I wrote about Christmas. This year I want to retire and <laughs> own my own island stand up and have so many problems. Throw your sacks in the air. Big. If you're okay, riding the room player, pop up. Thank you, Gule. What great job you've done. Such a wonderful singer. I'm back. Gule's getting tired. He's, <laughs> I think he's bleeding. Yes, he's <laughs> bleeding. Will someone please help him in the bathroom? <laughs> Frank? What? What has Google taught you? But it hasn't loaded. It hasn't loaded. Thank you, Joe. I'm very good Google. You need a time limit for the Google. Yeah, it is. Frank, 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 Frank,
What was the question again? Which family member did Luna Lovegood lose, and how old was she when it happened? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this game. I had no idea that this game was going to take 50 hours. Yes, you did. did. Yes, you did. No, you you did didn't sign that way. No. <laughs> Last time, the game ended very concisely. No, it we really did. All didn't. were about to blow our brains out. It took like three fucking hours. It was Steven. great. <laughs> Don't you forget, it's like a long journey towards a quick resolution. Like right. Right. I have to What do you mean Facebook ads? How? That means you chose a bad link. I chose Wikipedia. You chose a bad link. To that sounds like glorious. That's thing. randomly selling me a holiday bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know how to use Google. Okay. Frank, just use the desktop. I'm going to need a guess. I'm going to need a I'm going to need a guess. I'm going to need You're going to go with Frank. the mother. You're going to backwards Seriously, guess I'm into the right answer. Frank, you can just use the desktop. It's so much faster. It's too late. Coconut is not 
want to keep it controlled. I, that's not something I want to get in public. Why are you Googling I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking looking here, and it says coconuts is the name of the monkey robot created by Dr. Robotnik. Wait, is that the name of the game or the cartoon? Fan uh, uh, Okay, no, wait, uh, you're correct. I, uh, misread the cartoon the answer. series. Misread the answer? How many times have you done that tonight, Steve? Oh, that's the first time. Hell? That's the first time, I swear. That's the first time, I swear. I won. That's the first time, I swear. You won. No, you didn't win. You didn't win. You didn't win. I said many times, just by getting your name on these things. What do you mean you win? What? I still have the board. I'm going to fucking pick it in. But you said This game never ends. No, it's going to end. It's going to end right now. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to tell. D Rock, how many points he needs to sew this bitch up? But but that doesn't make sense. It was a sad what you need to do to make sense <laughs> is to shut the fuck up. This one is a game. We're <laughs> Final Jeopardy now. We've entered the final realm. You want to do math? It should be a hard one. You need an assistant. You, you almost messed that up. Yeah, see, maybe you should have been the assistant. I'm glad. I was, I was about to. I was about to correct myself. I'm glad it, no, that I, I, know. I was about to correct myself. Not to be the game's auditor. That's just not the game. Oh, no. He needs to be better at reading stuff. Ebro, I have good and bad news for you. I will go to the bad news first. You want the bad news first. Yes. The bad news very quick. The I'm bad news so is that you have acquired 117 points oh, over the, bad news. the course of this game. That seems like the good news, and then the bad news is going to be somebody else has way more points. Yep. The good news is the game is over. What? <laughs> D-Rock has won. He is the points leader. So there was no bad news. Wait a minute. That's not bad news. He's lying. Huh? He's lying. You could have gotten an infinite amount of points. The fact that you people got less than 117 points is very sad. Steven. I'll take it. Congratulations. Arbitrary I, huh? I know. I could have given you a million points. And you guys didn't make me. I didn't, even, I didn't have to like answer a really hard question. Zero, world heavyweight champion. Champion. champion, is the actual champion of the trials of trivia. Woo! I'm gonna get the hardest. Mr. James has been the hardest. I'm gonna get the hardest Sonic question that ever. Mr. James has been the throne. throne. Zero doubted himself that he could never win this game, and somehow he bested himself and threw it in his own face. Extra points for thinking I couldn't win. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank That's you so fun. much, Frank, our Sonic expert, for being Thank here you. this Everybody evening. Last Jedi, Thank <laughs> you so much, Satya, you know, I'm for this year. learning what it takes to be an expert. I'm, I'm taking less things next time. That's a high bar. No one's gonna Thank you, Cool Fortress, for showing your Buffy brilliance and for correcting despite your own self doubt and saving the game yeah. from a huge failure. We all thank you, Mr. James, James from a huge failure, for actually. not storming away in defeat, but <laughs> go, causing a <laughs> wonderful, a furious comeback there, George. And a special I, thank you, like George, deserves some kind to of Game Goulet, who's going to sing one last song. Oh God! Yeah. yeah. And throw out the last Christmas question <laughs> to the audience. The last well, Christmas question. I wanted to question. answer like one more epic Simpsons question to win the game. No. So not gonna happen. Frosty the Snowman <laughs> is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play, just the same as you and me. What do you think was that magic they found in his silk ass hat? Huh? <laughs> magic? There's no How did the magic, magic get in the silk hat? How did magic. the magic? That is the last question of the evening. Oh, well, for pre Professor Hinkle. Professor Hinkle was magic. He's green. He's got to be magic. Thank you for a hundred episodes on the Blizzard Cast. And tweet us how you think the silk magic got in that silk hat. I have been your host, Game Goulet. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Fuck you. I'll take over this bitch. Goulet, remember, kids, a hundred episodes down. And Mr. J still gets an AC fit over everything.
Wundercast? Give yeah. it up for Wundercast, man. What an adorable name. 